Welcome everybody. Today in this video I'm going to focus on how we can extract data from files. In the introduction video to BR Blue, I explain this diagram. In this video I'm going to discuss how we can extract data from files and store it into a database using data services component. In this demo I'm going to focus on how to extract data from three different text files. One is going to be comma, one is going to be pop demo, one is going to be semicolon demonstrated. So now when we open it, we can see that it's separated with commas. Then the same with the pop. I've just used pop as a separator. And then over here I've used semicolon. I'm also going to show that we can extract data from an Excel file. This is the Excel file we will be using to extract data from. As one can see, there's two tabs in the Excel file. When extracting, we can actually choose which tab we want to extract from. That's it. I'm just going to go into data service now. I already have a project where I've set up how we're going to extract the data. In the project, I've got a batch job files and I've got two data flows. Then the first data flow is handling the text files. So as we can see, these text files, we can automatically see the same data that I've showed you, but it's already separated into the different columns. The data in all three files are the same, it's just how they're structured is different. Just to give you a view, that I've set up here on how to extract the data and how to get the data. And as one can see, you know, we can either have comma separated, or if we wanted it to be tab separated, we just choose so, or if we wanted to pop, or comma, whatever character, so we can virtually do any character. And then we can also automatically tell it to ignore the first row in the header and that first row is actually your headings. Hence the same headings over here are used as what's in the file. So this is where we define the structure and say how long and everything must be. So that is each of the text files that was designed. Then for the Excel, what we've done here is I've made a connection to the GL post in Excel. We can read the data and it'll show the data also in a pleasant format. That connection was also done over here. And once again, when working with this Excel, we could have chosen the different worksheets. So we can choose different types of worksheets, or we can choose a specific number range. So there's different ways we can do. And then we have also imported the actual schema into here. Okay. Before I run this, I just want to show you that there is no tables that exist here. And both these jobs are basically going to retrieve the data, merge it together here, and put it into that table while the Excel will just do a straight transfer. Okay, just executing the job. The log's coming up, showing us which steps it's done. It's completed with the text there, now it's completed with the Excel, and then the whole job is done. Yeah, it's showing some statistics. Now if we go back into the database, we can then see the two tables have been created. We can also select and view all the data. That brings us to the end of our demo. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please contact us on info at brblue.co.za.